In this video, I'll teach you how to create this zoom effect and turn it into a video in under five minutes. It's much easier than you might think, so let's go. We are going to use MeJourney 5.2 to generate the images. Let's write a prompt to get our first image and use the new zoom out feature to get some zoomed out images of the same scene. For this one, let's start with a close up of a bicycle wheel in the sunset above a mountain. That might give us some beautiful results. And here is what we got four beautiful images of a bicycle wheel with the sunset and some mountains in the background. Now before we can zoom out this image we'll need to upscale it. I like the fourth image the most and click on U4 button down here to upscale the fourth image. Now the fun begins. After the image is upscaled we'll click on the zoom out 2x button down here. Remember that you will need to be on Me Journey 5.2 to use this feature and here are the results. We get four variations of a zoomed out image of our first image. Now we'll repeat the same process again and choose the one we like. Upscale and zoom out again. For this example I zoomed out three times starting from our first image. This is what we got now. We save our four images starting with the close-up of a wheel and ending with the wide shot of the entire bicycle. In the next three minutes I will teach you how to create this smooth effect. Now before I show you the way promise me one thing. You will see some lines of code in a black box that we'll use to write some stuff to make this work. Promise me to not give up just because you don't understand every detail. You don't have to be a senior coder, I don't understand it myself, but it works and it will work for you. Let's go. The first step is to download Python. Head over to python.org slash downloads and download the latest version of Python. You will find the link in the description down below. It's not a complicated process, just install it and you'll get this message that says the setup was successful. Good job. Now for the next step, we'll head over to GitHub and download something called Zoom Video Composer, created by our Polish friend Marek Widmuch. Now scroll down to usage, click on the link here that says download this repository. I click on it and save it on my desktop. Now right click and choose extract here to get this folder. Inside of the folder should look like this. You should have a folder and five files. For the next step, click on the start or windows button and open up your command prompt. You can search for the letters CMD and launch the command. Write CD and go to the Zoom Video Composer folder that we just extracted from the zip file. Click up here and copy the path. Now let's head back to our black box aka command prompt and paste it right after the letters CD that we just wrote. So you should have written the letter CD dash and then the path of our folder. Hit enter and write the following pip install r requirements dot text. I'll put this in the description down below so you can just copy it. Now once you've written that and hit enter you should see some files downloading. I have already installed these files and that is why it looks like this. Don't worry if it looks different for you. When everything has downloaded successfully, we're going to head back to the images of our wheel and bicycle. Now for this final step, you have to change the name of the images that we saved from Me Journey. The images should start with 0, 1 and increase the number by 1 for each image. It's important that you change the file format from PNG to web page also. Just write dot web p at the end of the name. Now copy all the images, go to the folder called example, delete the images that are already inside of this folder and paste your own images here instead. Voila! Now we have our images from Me Journey inside of this folder called example. All we have to do now is to go down here and copy this line of code and paste it in our command prompt. Don't worry, I have put this code in the description down below for you. Once you have pasted it inside of the command prompt, hit enter and see the magic happen. It doesn't take more than two minutes and we get a new file inside of our folder with the name example underscore output dot mp4. Let's open it and see what we got. Wow, there we go. Good job. You just created this amazing effect by believing in yourself and writing a few lines of code. I hope you got something out of this video and don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts with me in the comments down below. Bye.